everyone, it's Kristen Burt from The Web Files. This show has had a slow building buzz. It has female superheroes, a Washington Post article, and now an Indie Soap Award for Best Directing. What show am I talking about? Well, Chick, of course. And I'm so glad I'm able to bring it to your attention today. All right, I want to welcome you guys to The Web Files. We have Kai Shore Macon and Kimberly Huey from Chick. Thank you. Yeah, we're really excited to have you guys here. So give us a quick description of what Chick is all about. Have you ever felt like you were meant to be someone great? Like a superhero? Me too. Chick is basically about a girl. She's got a boyfriend who's cheating on her. I don't know what I was thinking. She really has this dream of wanting to be a superhero, and she gets to this point in her life where nothing's going right. I might as well just try to go out there and go for my dream. I'm gonna be a superhero. Now, how did you two come together to create Chick? The idea for Chick was mine for like, sitting around in my head for maybe three or four years. And then I went over to her house one day and I was like, you're supposed to be a part of this project, but I'm not really sure how. <laughs> and then she says, why don't I production design it for you? We had a vision and then we set out to do it. And it's like, oh, how do you do that with a buck and change? It really forces you in a creative sense to come up with ideas and ways of doing things that I think if you had a chunk of money, you, you might not. And not to say that you don't want a chunk of money. Who doesn't? Yeah. But, but you made no secret that this was ultra low budget, right? Ultra. <laughs> ultra. <laughs> you guys were touting yourselves as the first green web series. Yeah. We tried as much as we could to show it in the episodes. Like she falls into a recycling dumpster and you have to have your cast and crew be down for the cause. Cause we were right, like, yeah. you have to bring your own cups. There's no plastic bottles on the set. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I thought was really interesting, and, and it was the stunts. Yeah, can I just say, like, it was like I was in a car crash after doing that stuff. And thank God I cast myself in the lead <laughs> role because I would not want to do that to anybody else. But the first person I have to give a shout out to is Jerry Kelvin. I couldn't have done it without her. And that chick is super bad. She's she done was, some high profile yeah, stuff. Yeah, she work. was like the stunt yeah. double for Kirsten Dunst in Spider Man. So that's huge. Yeah. And then she came out and, and helped us with the, the little falls when we were actually on set. Mm -hmm. that to tie them together. You know, I'm like, yeah, you know, we're gonna fall from this building. And she's kind of looking at me and I'm totally ignorant. She's like, have you ever done these stunts before? I'm like, no, but I can do it. That's awesome. <laughs> and so we show up at her uh, at her house and she had this 13 foot fall and a five foot fall. And I was like, yeah, dude, I can do the 13 foot, honey. I never even got to the 13 <laughs> foot fall. In your head I you were going to. I got to the five one. I was like, I'm scared to death. I don't know if I can do it. And then we just basically, I was falling and flipping my body over for like four or five hours. You had a great article written in the Washington Post. Yeah. How did that come about? Chick yeah. is on a couple of online networks, Colcast and Rowdy Orbit. And Rowdy Orbit, Jonathan Moore, who- He's amazing. I've talked to him quite a bit. He yeah. is like our hugest fan. Like he really just took us under his wing. And so as he was p publicizing his online network, he was promoting Chick along with that. And that's really how that article came about. And honestly, in the beginning, we were just gonna be part of you know, uh, a bigger article, but I didn't know we were gonna be like, You're front, front and center. center. I heard you did some guerrilla marketing at Comic-Con. I rode my bike around San Diego, just part <laughs> of the promoting of being green, and a lot of people wanted to take their picture with Fantastica, and. What did you learn at Comic-Con? When we go to places like Comic-Con, it's finding ways that we can genuinely connect with people. Connect and with And inspire viewers. them. And what type of audience are you finding for Chick? We're still trying to figure it out, mm -hmm. um, but, it's skewing older than we thought it would, which I find fascinating because by that time in your life, you kind of get to this point where you're like, you're past that, oh, I know everything. Right. And then you're like, now what am I really doing with my life? And I think the character of Lisa speaks to that in a lot of those women. And we get like these amazing messages. We're like, yeah, we're taking the journey with you and you know, and stuff yep. like that. But also being like supportive of, of her journey because she's not actually a superhero yet. Yeah, she's just. And the support for that, like go, 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 you know, for men there. and women. That's been, I think, really heartening. And you guys just won an award. Actually, you won an award for yes, Best yeah. Directing. But you guys had five nominations altogether? We're five. Five. five, which is impressive for Indie Soap Awards. I love being a part of the awards, and I did that little fun acceptance speech. I thought I'd have a few key people help me in thanking everyone connected to Chick. Our lead actress, thanks to our entire cast for your fabulous performances. Mwah, mwah, mwah. 
our executive producer, to our producers, and to our in-kind sponsors for believing in us when we had no track record. Yeah, the writer of Chick, are you wearing pajamas? Oh. So here's to the superhero in all of us. I was torn about doing it. I didn't want to seem like, oh, it's all about me. But you know what? Sometimes you're doing a lot of different roles. I really thought it would be a fun way to make sure that we shout out to the cast and the crew and our, you know, in-kind yeah. sponsors, but also acknowledge me. And because sometimes, you know, you don't do that. Yep. Where you don't give yourself love. And you're I like, was like, what? I need some love. A little, a little <laughs> pat in the back. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, you guys have 11 episodes up. Are there, how many more are coming for the season right one? Right now we're planning on 20. Okay, we so had, pretty ambitious. Yeah, we had an alternate reality game that we were doing with it and it we just tried to do too much. So it kind of fell apart. And so this middle section where she's doing these video blogs and she's out in her car, we're supposed to be more tied to that. Yep. So we've kind of taken a little left turn and um, rewritten some stuff and, and headed back to towards the end of the season. Things get juicy by the end and it le I think it leaves with a, quite a bit of a cliffhanger and I, we really hope to have a lot more interaction in season two because mm -hmm. as she's trying to realize her dream and develop her superpowers, we really want the audience to do it too. And do you have any plans for this uh, beyond a web series? Honey, I got plans up the yin <laughs> yang. Don't question. I got plans up the yin yang. I mean, I have told people, I think, I, I won't mention the, the studio, but I told someone, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to create a franchise. And I swear to God, I was like, they were like this. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to try anyway. I want to congratulate you guys. I'm glad we were able to tell different aspects of your story. So. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. It's always good to see women working in the web space, and Chick is proving that there's a superhero in all of us. This episode of The Web Files is now closed. I'm Kristen Burke. We'll see you next time.